Hey guys, here's Daniel and in this video I want to show you the new GSAP animations in the Brixforge panel. This is a very powerful tool that gives you so many possibilities to be creative. Let's take a look together. When you open the panel you will now see a new tab called Animations. Here you can create your GSAP timelines. Let's create one together and I will show you the basics. We try to create a timeline for this headline. Let's name this example. We select a scroll trigger here and as trigger selector we want to choose our headline. If needed in this area you can define different settings for your timeline. Let's create our first animation. As selector we choose the trigger element because we want to animate the same. And here you can create an animation object. You can animate whatever you want here. Almost all CSS properties are possible. The visual area shows you how your animation will look like. And you can run the animation as well. You can set a duration for your animation. And also a delay. And of course you can set an ease value to make your animation look really good. One of my favorites is the simple back value here. Let's create a second animation for this timeline. In this animation we just want to change the text color to a different color, to orange maybe. Let's check the result. Ok, cool. You can see that the animations are played one after the other. But we can define a start position of each animation object. For example, the start position of this animation can be the start position of the previous animation. You can also define custom values here. Uh, please check the GSAP documentation for more instructions here, but a simple value could be a number. And uh, this says, please start at second 6, for example. We want to deal with the default value here. Yeah, if we save this and check the front end, we see that the animation starts. Let's try to bind our timeline to a CSS class. This allows you to assign our animation anywhere very easily. Let's create a new global class for this. And I give this class to all headlines I created before. Now we enter our global class to the trigger selector. And also for the animations we need our class here. Let's check the result. Ok, our animation still works. And if we check the other headlines, also here we have an animation. Let's check more details in the front end. Ok, we see here that all animations are starting at the same time, but that's not what we want here. No problem, activate the setting and your elements will not be triggered at the same time. Scrolling down we see that each animation starts only when the element comes to the viewport. And that's what we want.
Now we have a global animation. If we want to change something, we can do that. The change will affect all elements with this class. Let's try to add another animation for this timeline and we want to move the element uh, 400 pixels to the right. Save. Okay. All right. Let's activate the scrub setting. This setting will be activated for each element in this timeline. Great. We can also add a value here to make the scrub animation even smoother. You won't see the difference in this video I think, but you can feel it in the browser. Also we set up that the animation ends when our element hits the middle of the viewport. Alright, let's try to combine our timelines with custom JavaScript events. That's also possible with BricksForge. I've pre-created a simple animation timeline with the trigger custom. The trigger will be one of our custom events. And for this crazy animation we want to trigger some states with the buttons I created. Let's create some events. We start with the play event. On click and here we want to select the play button. And now we can select the new action type GSAP animation. We choose the action we need, in this case play, the timeline and that's it. Let's check this in the front end. Play. Wow. The animation starts. Cool. Let's create now a new event for the pause button. This will be almost the same. The GSAP animation action, as animation action pause, the same timeline, and save. And the last button. Okay. Play. Yeah. Cool. Our events are set up correctly. Let's add another button with the animation type reverse. This is a very useful animation type. Let's try this. Okay, everything works well. The possibilities are endless combining your timelines with custom JavaScript events. I want to show you a practical example for this. This off canvas animation was created in 5 minutes. Let's take a look to the settings, what we did here.
Yeah, first of all, I've created the UI for the off canvas and um, I've hidden it with the transform value. And this is the value we can change in the animation to make it visible again. Here you can see how it slides in. Then I created very simple events to open the screen and to close the screen with the reverse animation. Moving it to the left is a very simple example, but we can do even more. For example, we could move it a little to the bottom and we could add a border top left radius. How will this look like? Oh, not bad. But let's check this in the front end. But we can do even more. Let's animate the icon inside this off canvas after the screen slides in. Let's try it. I give the icon a class. I add a new animation. And we just want to move it down for 50 pixels. Okay, let's check this. Ah, I see I've selected the wrong icon. Let's do it right now. This is the correct one. I've assigned a class and will remove the class for the other element. Okay. Let's check this again. Yes. Okay, I think I forgot to save. Beautiful. Cool. And we also see the amazing reverse animation. I'm sure you have so many ideas of what you can do with these animations. Feel free to let me know in the comments. I want to show you one last example here. Combining events with timelines, we can create our custom hover events. Let's try to create an animation for the snuff items. Each of these snuff items have the class snuff item. And this is the class I want to set as trigger. And for this example, we just want to move the items up and change the color. I think 0.5 would be enough for this. And this is the animation we will see later. Okay, we can create the events now. First, the mouse enter event. A selector, we choose the nav item class and we choose all elements with the selector. As action, we select the GSAP animation, play, and the timeline. 
And for this use case, it is important to select animate trigger because we don't want to animate all classes, only the trigger. And we see that works. Now we can create the mouse leaf animation. Yeah, and this simply is a reverse timeline. All other settings are the same. Let's check that. And great. Yeah, we have created a custom animation for navigation items. And again, the possibilities are endless here. Yeah, this was a small preview for the animations in the BricksForge panel. I can't show you everything in this video, so just play around. I wish you a lot of fun creating your animations with BricksForge.